Now our last example is a small program that acts as a calculator. Write a Java program that asks the user to enter two float numbers, so the input are two float numbers, and a character which represents a code for an arithmetic operation. Arithmetic operation is plus, minus, subtract, and divide. The program performs arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division on those two numbers depending on the value of code as follows. So when we read code, we are going to test it against many constants, A, capital, A small for addition, S, capital, S small for subtraction, M, capital, M small multiplication, D, capital, and D small for division. If the code character that is entered by the user is not one of those specified above, print a message saying invalid code and quit the program. Uh, so the input two float numbers and a character. Let's go to JGrasp and write the program. Here now we are in JGrasp. Uh, I have already prepared the program. So we need initially two variables, double. We will call it first number and we will call it second number because we are going to add two numbers, first and second. And also we need a code for the arithmetic operation. Uh, we will ask the user enter two numbers and a code A for addition S for subtraction copy just we would like to copy and we will remove here so we will uh, for s so we need m for multiplication and d for division and we can write a message here uh, lowercase is accepted so make our printed message clearer to the user what we want as an input so after we read the two numbers we have to read the two numbers so we will read first equal to n dot next double we will read second n dot next double and then we will read the code as a string and then we will take the first character from the string as the letter. We will use a switch as we mentioned before. So we will use a switch on code. And inside we will have cases for each one. So we will have a case for capital letter A and case for small letter a and this will include the addition so we need to add the two numbers and print the result we are not going to save the result into um, a variable we will just write it directly using print so system dot out dot print len we will print our output so it is clear what we are adding and what is the result so first we will print the value of first followed by a plus sign because this is addition, followed by the second number, followed by equal as an answer, and followed by the result. And what is the result? We add first plus second. Here I'm using a plus so that, we, so that the um, compiler cannot assume that this is concatenation, which is combining two strings. It is addition. And don't forget we need to write a break after we finish. Now here we are taking two lines for the two cases. We can combine them on one line. So we can bring the second case on the same line. And then below the first case, we put the statement so that we have a space on the left-hand side of the page. I will copy 
these whole lines and I will paste them because we don't want to repeat typing and we will do it for S and we will put a break and also we will copy it for the other operations as well so copy this is for division or oh, we have already have a break okay this is for multiplication sorry and last we will do it for uh, the division so for the division and the multiplication we need to change this to m and this to m and don't forget for subtraction we have to change also the output minus and here we need to multiply and i will put instead of star i will put x it's like a multiplication sign and for division so the symbol will be this is the symbol we will use and we will write divide and for default which is like it's like a last else there is no if the code is not one of those then we will print a message by saying invalid arithmetic operation code so it is unknown code and by default it will go outside the program because we don't have anything to do when we quit the switch there is one small remark before we proceed in division you know in division the second number should not be equal to zero so we have to take care of this otherwise our program will have runtime error and we don't want to have runtime error we want to take control of this so in D we will check for the second number if the second number is equal to zero we will print a message system.out.println division by zero okay this is what we will see so it, uh, it is a division by zero else if this is not the case then we will print the result notice we don't need curly brackets inside case so we have a break and we have f and else it looks like two statements but we don't need a break we don't need curly brackets put as many statements as you wish let us run the program and see if maybe there are errors hopefully there are no errors run it so no errors enter two numbers and a code a for addition and etc so let us try all of them i will try addition 3.4 5.6 and i will put a small letter so it is adding them and it is correct run it again and we will put 3.1 three point let's put integer so we check that the answer is correct and multiply i will put m capital letter so the multiplication is correct now for subtraction run it again uh, we will have 10.3 minus 7.3 and this is s capital letter so it is minus and for division we will check both we will have 20 and 4 which is d for division so it is dividing correct and when we run it again for 3.4 and 0 and we say divide then it's a division by 0 and this completes our program